Hello, Retro Tech Ralph here. Right, I'm rather calm because I'm doing part two of this. Hold on. It's the Stellophone reel to reel, whatever the bloody hell it is. I'm, pff, right. Here's how I make my videos I do as much as I can in one go because I work for a living and I don't work from home, unfortunately. I can't drive an ambulance from sat in front of a computer. Well, actually, I could. Actually, there isn't. There's a police simulator. But there's no ambulance simulator. But hey ho, whoop de do. Right, I have got the innards out of the case. And this, right, here's something that has not been seen since the 22nd of December, 1956. Wow. Wow, Bill Ailey and the Comets were in the charts when this was being built. When some Dutch person, some whoever he is, was making this, Bill Haley, who's doing Rock Around the Clock, had already been out of charts and back in with the next one. I forgot what the next one was with Bill Ailey. Oh, God, I love Bill Ailey and the, rock, and the, and the Comets. Rockets, yeah. Yeah, but here is a message that has not been seen since 1956. Right, this is in Dutch, and I have some Dutch friends out there that can translate this. That bite of temperature, if oh, plasterus rulen da pen fran transformaten ush. What? Ah, I think I can replace. I can. I can actually translate this. When replacing the fuse, put its roller on the hook protruding from the transformer. Why in the living f would you put its roller? What roller? What fuse? <laughs> See, I am learning. This, like I said before, on the last video, this is the most retroist piece of retro tech I have ever done. From 1956. 1956. Come on. This pre preludes anything spectrum ish. Yeah. It, the control, it's the um, IIL, which is. Oh, what's L? Is L50? So that's 48 now. IIL wouldn't be 40. Why then LB afterwards? Oh well. Right. So, whoever the person who did 514 on the 30th of Oz, probably October. Uh, better stamps next time, please. But that is definitely a 1956 and in December 22nd. So, this. This poor bugger was actually thrown to do this. Either either Hook Hacken is the person. No, Hook. All oh, right, Hook and Roller. Right, okay. So it's his instructions. Oh, when you press a fuse, where the living hell is the fuse? Right. Okay. Let's widen you out. So basically, I've been busy. The speaker is here which has a cable which is soldered in place and can take that off. I am not. This is full leaded. This is quality solder. This is from 1956. Solder, which is stayed in place. I've got rubbers on here, which hold for, for a little bit of suspension. There is barely enough on there to move. I have one of these feet, which is in my pot, which it's gone. I can attempt to squash it together Maybe a little bit of glue on there, which will give it... Because two of these, because I have only got two, will go on. And I think it might be these two corners. Which give it a little bit of, of rocking and hold it in place. Because th this is what records and tape decks needed back in th in these days. Oh, ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. 
I'm going to have to get glued in like that. It's going to be a little bit solid, but a little bit spongy at the same time. And that's... I can't... I, I don't know where the hell to get replacements of these from. Does it go that way around? Ooh. I'm well done. That might go that way around. But this has been squashed and crapped and whatever over the decades. Longer than I've been around, this has been put in the wrong place. So whoever the, whoever the 514 is on the 30th of October, 56, has put this in the wrong place. Cheers, mate. I hope you're, um, I hope you're alive, to be honest, so that I can talk to you. Because this is absolutely amazing tech. <laughs> but I need to glue that in place to try and give myself them. I can't think of anything in here that I've got anything that I can do anything. I can't, Words are failing me on this because it's it's such old. I've got I've got valves for God's sake. If you can't see them, I've got I've got valves. No no oh no. Oh, what is a turn? I've got valves. <laughs> this beats having resistors and and maybe a. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. So, I need to try and separate this from that. There is live 240 volts through this. And this is the innards. Right, there's a transformer here, and there's a fan here, which is rusted in. I have soaked with W40. I have actually had this switched on, and one of the, I think it was, if you look on here, this valve here started glowing. Which is good, or this one, one or the other. One, either either valve started lowing, which means there's power getting to it. But I don't know exactly if it works or not. I know the band's gone. I know there's certain problems with this, which has been given to time, not to by use. Because test, oh, excuse me, testimony of my own parents is as follows. Yeah, it just went and we haven't moved, used it since. Ah, oh, right, thanks. So what the flip am I supposed to do with this? So let's get the top case out of the way and I can't move that much further away from. I mean, some things clean up. I've just wiped that bit there and it cleans up to almost new. Beautiful condition. Bits on there, yeah, they'll need a bit of a brush in. Let's take the valves out of here, but I'm not going to do that. All right, like, yeah, all right. It's not plugged in. And the valves, look, look at that, beautiful. I could... <sighs> this is a, this is definitely retro, way retro tech. I mean, who the hell uses valves, glass valves nowadays? I mean, look at that, it's beautiful. The shine on that for, for, for absolutely nothing. I could probably get 100 quid for that valve alone for some idiot who's wanting to make their system work. I mean, this, this does work. This is, a, this is almost a time capsule of something that, oh, the belt broke, what I figured out. The belt broke and all it is is just... There's parts in here that have been sat doing absolutely stuff all for 50, hang on, 56. It's 2019 now, so for 53, sorry, yeah, 63 years. Oh my God, I am, I'm not that old. Hold on, 53. No, sorry, 56. 66, 70, 80, 90, 06, 16. No, 63. Oh, I don't care. Gears. And this has just been sat with parts in it doing nothing. Not plugged in. Not anything particular. I mean, the socket down there, it eats all, all the parts are spaced out apart from there's one missing. Oh, this is goddamn ridiculous. But I think I've got the funny feeling that this is actually in full working order. Right, I've oiled this because this is, this is a fan that feels really stiff there. It's a fan that, that for some reason, on the transformer. Right, I'm going to turn this on with the power. Cable's in. Woo! 
this motor here, oh, this transformer here is working. But I think I might just put W40 in this part here. Yeah. This part down here, and it was jammed. The, 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 the spring on here, which is really tightly wound, has been stuck. Has been stuck for 61 years. Is it 55? No, 56. 63 years. And the spring is still working. I will attempt to keep as much lubrication as possible because I don't think this is going to last much longer. There's a part over here which is holding the top of the shaft in. Spring holds the... because there's a bit of tension on there and I think things just need lubricating. So there is life in this. This is absolutely fucking ridiculous. So that runs all the time. There is no buttons. I'll show. I'll try and show this without killing myself. I know I've been warned before by all of you before, but there is all the buttons down here. None of them are pressed up. There are no. There is no band holding this in place. Even this is the play wheel. All parts underneath here. I think there's probably cork parts won't put it onto these and no it's not got any cork at all I'm sure I can find cork actually to be honest most things are screw yeah I can use a cork from a bottle cut it down but most things nowadays are screw top wine bottles That is free, that is motion, that is moving. You can change the voltage on this by this section here. Trust me, I'm trying to be careful. What you do is undo this spring there, unscrew, take it off. Now I thought you'd turn that round, but you don't. You take it off and move it round. I'll show you. So I think this might be more than a, a one or two part project anyway. Right, you put a screw in here which undoes that, this piece of metal then comes across there you take that off you take this thing off so I can clean underneath here with the um, beautiful isopropanol oh, excuse me but the volt sign shows what voltage it should be which is, if you see there, volt it's green for some reason but this, what, what copes with the volts are going to be. The centre pin, these are just pins. Centre pin goes in and then you just figure out what you want. 220 volts. I'm not sure if UK actually runs on 220 volts. You've got 110 for the Europeans. 245 is what it was set on. 127 volts? Where's 127 volts come from? So 245, so let's go to the maximum sort of beans and hold it in place because it's not really secure with a screw. So hold that in place. This is so dangerous. But then again, you'd had, all right, all I can think is you had kids from the 50s. They grew up after the war, the, the, um, the Second World War. And yeah, we're not gonna mess you around. Life isn't that good, but here you go. Here's something that could pro potentially electrocute you, and we're going to, um, you know, what you're doing, basically. So that motor is going around because it's it was plugged up on the spring, and it's been well oiled now. Everything's going round, and I think I am being so careful. And I know I'm a clumsy son of a gun, but oh, 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 
Father. Right, off. That's not a bad, oh, oh, oh. Trust me. <gasps> what was that? What the, was that? No, 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 no. Right, okay. That's just outers. Arrgh. Right. That's all going round. Watch that valve. Tight in. Well, <laughs> okay, so the selling part for this was that valve glows green. I'll, can we see whether or not that glows green when it's <sighs> when it's actually playing. So here we go. Press play button. You can see me, I can see you. It's moving. That is pure energy, electricity. That's... Can you hear that? There's a motor going round. The main drum's going round. Whoa! Get out, bike, bike, bike. The main drum's going round. <gasps> Need a bit of oil on that. Right, so that's middle speed. Top speed. <gasps> I do honestly think this is going to be working. Get that for filthy. It's been sat for decades. We have life. I go faster. No, nope. right. The three bands on here, we can see here. The top one is is actually a, um, a round, not a cog, but a round piece of metal with rubber around the edge. And this rubber is still perfectly fine. Below it is another one. Below that, there's a third one, giving you the three speeds. I'm going to try and clean them as I'm going. Now I'll just stop the main drum. So maybe I'd have put a bit too much on the the second band there. Doesn't want oil in it, needs to be clean. So. Wow. I hope I'm not doing a, a how to fix one of these things, because to be honest, do it your bloody self, it's quite fun. That last one just doesn't want to... I think these bands here, the, the wheels there, I think they really need to be... I can't... I can hold the first one in. But I think the second and the third one may be a little bit more worn. So they might be the... Um, the driving force for this. Maybe they just need a little bit more on the... There might be a spring... ...connection. Actually, I'm feeling on a third one, there's a lump. And I'm actually taking it off with the cotton bud. Yeah, because I'm feeling the end of the cotton bud. Cause that's faster speed. I think I'm taking whatever lump of crap off. Wow. This is... this is... Yeah. Remind me old tram. I'm in Sheffield and we used to have trams here. Still, we have now. But we used to have old, old, old trams. There's, there's one, maybe two, at the Beamish Museum. 
links are no 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 links balls to links I have a video out there which shows which I went to Beamish last year and I do recommend I'm going back again this year this, 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 this just I don't know how much life this has had but why is there a piece of crap in the middle of that sponge there We have you live from the nutter of Ralph and there's a piece of crap in the middle of a spring. I don't know if that's meant to be there or not. I need the scalpel. Oh, come here. That's only thing thin enough to pull that out. Oh, crack, it's just dissolving. Oh, no, no, no. If it was sponge, it's dead. And if it's not, I need to grab hold of that. Oh no! Oh. Actually, if you can see, right where that spring is, I've just moved. There's a hole next to it. There's literally a hole next to it. So is that giving you more tension? Oh, you can't even see it. Wide spring there, right. That gives you more tension to move that up to there. So it future proofs itself. Granted, I am missing two bands. Pro I did, to be honest, one band. Because I never saw one on this at all. Oh, come on, Ralph, for God's sake. Right. This needs to spin. I don't know whether or not this head works. And this erase head works, but that needs a band on it going around the main drum. Oh my god, this is this is ridiculous. Is that still glowing? You can barely see a green glow around that, but it's still glowing. That's so cool. I mean, to know that there's so much electricity running around those tubes is terrifying. And knowing that I don't have full control over all of my fingers. No, that's just that's spinning. The third one is spinning round and trying to get this to go round. Let's speed up. Swap to the fourth, third one. No. Nope. Yeah, that third. <sighs> Too close to that. Too close to that. First, second works. Amazing. Hold on a second. You will not believe the fun I'm having with this. I think I've also found you see the fluff. Yeah, it's fluff, but possibly a um, yeah fluff from the 1950s, <laughs> and possibly parts of my mother before she started dyeing her hair. But yes, this is absolutely ridiculous. I need to take that off there so I can um, redo the... Oh, this is ridiculous. This, this is going so well. And this is about to go boom. I know it is. But it, it's full of crap, full of grease. That's obvious. I mean, yes, these are the drive wheels and I need a band on that. And I don't know where the hell to get a band from. I don't know if I need two because of the... Um, the reverse, but there isn't. I don't think there's a reverse. There is. There is because it's stamp, start, and backwards. So it must clock into place to do backwards. But I think I need to take that off. But I'm running this the best it's been since the 50s. <laughs> See, even that's running well as well. And the cotton bud. I am so going to write cotton buds on this. I know I am. I have been trying. There's that much crap on this. It's ridiculous. This can take so much cleaning. I'm sure it can. A lot of it doesn't need cleaning. I'm, I know it doesn't.
but to actually clean this I'd be happier if I knew that my voice was on was on here so that's going to sound kind of if my sister watches this it should piss her off that she should you know she, she should have done this years ago in a case of get somebody to fix it for her so she can hear her own voice when she was a child there's, there's no chance in this this ever being my voice I mean I watched Dubious Engineering's video on this did that ah that is the top of that the main barrel okay so that gives you that right okay Dubious Engineering's he did a um, video on restoring his his mom's and this is like basically coming to me and saying right I'm gonna fix your Walkman because this is the equivalent to that this was my Walkman from when I was um, oh, 15 16 17 I mean, it's it coming with a belt clip you come with you put your tape inside you press play you press reverse you press auto reverse your mode switch of, of continuous direction I absolutely love this even had the radio on here so that's moving for that to get the radio frequencies yeah it still has radio tape radio done sort of this works fine but took this everywhere I had madness as a, as a CD no that's fine <laughs> CD as a cassette and this works absolutely perfect put a couple of batteries in it a couple of double A's done sorted works still but could do with being upgraded with having a new band on it same as this this is exactly the same I mean no difference you got you, you've got the equalizer for a mega bass all right there's no mega bass on this but you've got the high and the low part of the equalizer and you put it in whatever position you want mega bass was on which was Sony what's it famous for and yeah this was my tape player back in the day this was my mum's tape player back in the day however I'm a bit miffed that she didn't want to do it herself I, I, I'd have done it years ago if I'd not known how things got to go together this is probably there's no screws holding this in place so I'm guessing this back cover because you've got the shiny half matte half may just clip together and I can get in there with a gap maybe to split it apart and do stuff with but I'm not going to because it works I'm not bothered but I'd have done this years ago and I'm sure that she's somewhere in, in her heart is regretting not doing it but it just needs some TL a lot of TLC because the main drum is just balls and I'm not even sure whether or not this these the part of the motor which has got these three wheels on here because I can stop it like that and it's just everything stops I don't think there's enough addition on these that will make anything work properly at the proper rate at proper speed so this is going to need a hell of a lot of cleaning top bit doesn't need cleaning but it, it it stops too easily uh, this is where it goes bang I know it does the motor stopped but on the side it stopped I need some more oil on here there's another coil over here another bits if it's laid flat it works fine but I was going to show you that this valve down here is actually glowing but I think I'm covered by other things and I was about to touch there that's where the main power comes into via that cable it's so dodgy right this is actually glowing let's get this off see if I can see it it's glowing orange this is the beauty of this sort of tech it's it's stupidly ridiculous right so I need a really decent 
I'll do a. So that's quite a powerful motor coming from there then. Okay. That's quite powerful. I think I've been out in shape. I've been out in shape. Right. Power's off. Let's bend these fans back down. Ah, these are so fragile. I think I've just fucked this up. If you pardon the pun. Better. Okay, it's out of the way. Oh, just touch that transformer and all. Okay. So that's time to low down there. Resistor there. You could not fail to see what amp resistor that is. It's a silver, orange, black, brown. <laughs> So where's the fuse then? So it says on there, to replace the fuse, put its roller on the hook protruding from the transformer. What? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Put its hook on the... That's probably going to be from the underside. No, because this is the... This is the top of... So you can see it from the above. So it, technically, you're looking down on this. This is the top over here, and you're looking down on it. <sighs> oh, there's another piece of plastic that's gone there. Plastic does not go well over years. The, I know there's a big debate nowadays over plastics. be choking um, animals and stuff like that. Yeah, and I, I know there's certain problems. I, 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 I look into these sort of things and I, and I get what the idea, what the problems are, and it's sickening. But that's not what I'm here for. But when you get plastics like this, and they're all Baker-like plastics, and it's just cracking as a strain relief for, for a old machine like this, which is never gonna last. Forever. Better. Woo! Yeah, right, here you go. Better. It's away from everything. But you see stuff like that and it's, it's degraded. It's, it's sad to see things going, but they have to. Yeah, I need to replace a lot of things on this. So let's get this thing flat on the ground again. And that is not moving. <clears throat> Speed three. Maybe too much WD-40 on here, which is creating too much friction. It needs to be flat. It needs to be no oil at all, which I can get out of the first one. Real to real spares.com. Andrew Dalton, you are a god among lesser mortals. Just reading on Discord. I've got the telly in front of me. If you ever want any advice, go to go to the Retro Man Caves um, Discord channel. He's got people on there. Right, he hasn't. Basically, he's got of people who follow him, which is fine. We all like Neil, he's brilliant at what he does. Each individual person has got such a good skill set. They're ridiculous. Absolutely, anything that I could do would be inconsequential compared to what they do. Oh, well done. They all forget it works. Drum slowing down to stop. That's a forward, that's the backwards bit. I think we'll go backwards. No, I don't think this needs as much of what it looks like. Now. So I'm going to continue cleaning this. 
it needs just to sit in front of it and just clean the crap out of this. That bottom roll is going that way. Them rubbers need changing. All three of them. How to get in there, God only knows. I am having a tape player that worked constantly. Right, I've got an idea. Well, actually, that idea has come from from Alas, from from Amanda, who cut his. Use a rubber band. Now, a rubber band could work on this. It's about the same thickness, same size, but if I can get the right one, what do you think? How do I get a rubber band around that? <sighs> Let's see what I can do. Power that off, turn you off, and see if I can get a rubber band around this wheel here. So I'm trying to change the belt on this. I've, I've undone the couple of screws down here, couple of over, over down here to try and get this front part off. Try and get, let's try an elastic band. I can get other bits from, oh dear, right okay that's not, all right that's fine, right. I'm just try and go like that. So maybe it's a threading thing, and I'm sure they wouldn't have made it so difficult in the 50s to do this sort of stuff. But it needs to go kind of in, out, round and on. These actual parts come straight off, but you can tell everything is cork. Kind of a cork sort of level there. Cork and cork and these parts cork as well. So I need to get some small cork parts because this has been gripped to there. You, you can tell obviously. I need to clean off one of the... I need some small cork parts. My god, this is ridiculous. See, that isn't even attached to anything. So, does that not... Whew, I need to find a kit for this. So, next time you see this, this is going to be the end, for the time being. I'm glad this is working. I'm very glad this is working. However, it's kind of... I don't know exactly how to put a band on. So, I'm gonna put things back in place as I remember them. There you go, that's better. That's a bit. They're a tricky little bug of these. To be honest, that reverse is on and it wants to come off. There you go. That's why that spins round now. I guess, I guess this has to have a band round it, but there's absolutely no evidence this has ever had a band round it. See, maybe, okay, maybe they just went round here to there. So that when you've got this part, because there's a Okay, that's not on. If you can see down here, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. Tight, 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 in the wrong part. Oh, I can't get in the right bit. Right. There. He's off camera. Right. There. This is where the cable comes out of. It's not in this metal part here. So it wants to come into and be part of 
this. So I'm guessing there might have been a band which goes on here and onto this cog here, which is completely gone. So when you pull this, it pulls that onto there, or it pulls it out, which then engages this to reverse. Okay. So I need a band for that and a band for this. I'm going to look at seeing if I can get, get that. Right, this is all cork on here. That doesn't need too much scraping because it's absolutely caked in cork. So, cork parts for that, cork part for that, unless, because that's perfectly fine, I could probably, quite easily, swap that over. It gives me grip between the top and the bottom sections on that side only. It doesn't give me much on this side because there isn't anything on this side. And that needs to go through one of the holes. Damn, done. See, there's, there's no grip at all, whereas that pulls more grip on there. I can clean that off and then put it on the cork, but I need six cork parts either side. Let me put things as they should be. They do, but that shouldn't go round. At least some sort of grip. There isn't much. A little bit of holding on there. So I guess that must need a band round there, which is very easy to do. Yep, plastic man can go around that and that and that, and then under there, very easily indeed. And then pulling the cable would release that, give that ten more ten tension to go around. So that will spin round. Whereas the other one is going underneath here somewhere. With a minute. I need to get a kit part. Oh, okay. And then we'll come back to this at a later date when parts arrive. So, thanks for watching. I hope, I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am because this is absolutely ridiculous in my own past, shall we say. It's actually good fun. So, screw screw. I've, I've done four from there for there with these four down here, two over here, which are there and there. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, please consider being a Patreon. Help me out on the channel, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Bye for now.